And he got a peanut in his throat. <coughs> and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. Fatty the second should be finishing up any time now. Talk about the recluse. He only comes down once a year and he never catches any flock for it. Probably lives up there to avoid the taxes. Merry Christmas! Oopsie! Forgot about the rain deal. Did that stop the old mic? No. The mic simply said, If I can't find some rain deal, I'll make some instead. Really? They really said German shelter? Again? Oh, diddle do, diddle do, diddle do, die! And so he took Monty and Max, and he took a bunch of red thread and tied a bunch of horns on the top of their heads. <laughs> Alright, you're both reindeer. Here's the motivation. Max, your name is Rudolph. You're a freak with a red nose and no one likes you. Then one day, Santa picks you and you save Christmas. And then New Year's Eve and then the circus and some frosty crossover. Wait, face Rudolph then who am I? Oh, you're the annoying reindeer that never made it on the television. December wins. I miss my mom. Okay, forget those parts. We'll improvise. Just keep it kind of loosey goosey. You both hate Christmas. You're gonna steal it. Saving Christmas is a lousy ending. Way too commercial and overdone. Action! This is stupid. Brilliant! You only check your own noses because they represent the glitter of commercialism. WHY DIDN'T I THINK OF THAT?! Cut, print, shut the gate, moving on. All the windows were dark, quiet snow filled the air, all the engines were dreaming sweet dreams without care. <coughs> uh, I mean, uh, <coughs> When he came to the only house on the square. Welcome to Tim with the Sheds, boys! Get ready, boys. It's our first stop. The old Mikey Claus hissed, and he reached for the ceiling. In empty bags in his sort of fist, he would snatch all the presents off the top of the roof, all quiet-like. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Mike. Luckily, Santa just drops the presents on the roof here. Then his chain clothing slithered and slunk all over the roof end. He took every present, arcade games, Lego figures, oversized game cartridges, front teeth, masked dogs, the great discovery on DVD, photo dolls and ways. Then he stuffed them in the bag. Then the mic stuck his head next to the shed doors. Shh! A little more stealth, please. With the little engine stockings hung all in a row. These stockings, he miked, are the first thing to go. Okay, fellas, chow time. <laughs>
<laughs> Then he slunk to the icebox. Slunk? He eyed the engine's feast. <laughs> er, I mean, he took their steamed pudding. He took the shirt. He cleaned out the icebox as quick as a flash. Why, that Mike even took the last bag of our rotten potatoes. That's a 93! A 37? Shit it, food! Then he stuffed all the food down his stomach with glue. And now, grinned the mic. <laughs> Taketh the tree. As the mic took the tree, as he started the stuff, he had a small poot, <laughs> like the fart of a dove. He turned around fast and he saw a little idiot, little Henry the Green Engine, who had an IQ of negative two. Oh, great. Why him? Why always him? The moron just stood there with his big old anime eyes, horrible gum disease, and nasal hair, he stared at the mic and said, Santa! Oh, snap! So much hugging. I can't feel my parts. Hey, Santa, are you robbing us? But you know, that old mic was so smart and so slick. <laughs> He thought of a lie, and he thought it up quick. Yes. Yes, I am. Robbing you. Or not. Okay, then! Merry Freaky Pudding, Santa! Oh, yeah, uh, you bet. Uh, ho, 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 and, uh, stuff. <sighs> sleepy. Sleepy crossover. Sleepy. I said this. Uh, I don't know. Mike dressed as Santa robbing our house. No, I saw the real Santa Claus robbing our house. He was big and jolly, and he had a beard and a unibrow and rubble, 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 rubble,